cells are uh, dynamic, they're changing in time. If you look at a population of cells in a dish, each one can be doing a different thing at different points in time. You have over 200 different cell types in your body. We don't really understand fully that process by which those cell types arise. And you need to study a large population of cells to be able to capture rare events. One of the most common that you hear about is cancer. Uh, a single cell can become uh, a tumor that can be catastrophic to a human. People are now manufacturing cells that are going to be used as therapies. And as that happens, NIST plays a, a really important role in developing tools and measurement technologies for quantifying populations of cells. Collecting uh, hundreds and thousands of images that they have to process, there were no computers that would allow them to do that. Or maybe the computers were there, but the software wasn't there. we have to go to another level of uh, image analysis and uh, to start to think of processing terabyte scale images. So we would sit in a room, Peter's team and our team in the cell system science group, we would look at the uh, prototype and start to interact with the data and tell Peter and his team what the limitations were, what we would like to see, what um, buttons or functions would be really helpful to our research. And therefore I started to think of something that would make the biologist completely independent or at least partially independent. It's no longer a huge amount of effort to do these large data experiments. So we hope that by providing software, test data, instructions how to install and test, plus the book that comes with all the details how to work uh, with uh, very large image collections. We will encourage the community to uh, follow or go in this direction that uh, hopefully will deliver better population characteristics, better statistical significance of any measurements that are derived from these uh, large images, and ultimately better reproducibility of all the experiments that the biologists and material scientists are doing. It's really plug and play for us. We can just collect the data and begin to interact with it right away. And that's allowed us to you know, use those numbers to identify the rare or unusual events that are occurring in the culture dish. Running these very big data experiments is expensive. And if you invest millions of dollars into collecting the data and it sits somewhere on the shelf, then it's a waste of resources, waste of the investment. We are also enabling this collaborative aspect that if you collected the data and it becomes available on the web, then your collaborators who are at remote locations can look at the data. They can maybe run their own tools on the data and therefore the utilization of the data is much higher. And the WIP system really allows any investigator with an automated imaging tool to run continuously or uh, collect large numbers of images from different samples and the ability to manage and work with that data is no longer a bottleneck with the WIP system.